here. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Today we're going to show you how to remove and replace the rear brake pads and brake rollers on Honda Civic. The generation from 2006 all the way until 2011. So we got the whole kit guys on eBay. Pretty good deal, ceramic brake pads with new, with new rollers, uh, so you will be good to go. Otherwise, if you put new brake pads, you need to cut your old rollers to make sure that they're nice and even, so, uh, so you won't have vibrations and you will have even wear on the brake pads. Okay, stay with us to see how we're going to do that and don't forget to subscribe for one new video every day. So what do we need to do guys, we need to go on the rear, we are going to demonstrate on the right side of the vehicle but it will be identical for the left one as well. You need to jack it up, put a jack stand, never rely on the jack itself. Okay, the wheel is stuck pretty good, so we have a video how to avoid that guys, how to fix a problem like that, because if it stays stuck like that for a long time you have really hard time removing it. So you find it in the description below. Okay, you can see this one has original brake brake pads. They're pretty low, and uh, the discs are pretty shiny too. So you definitely need to cut if you're uh, if you're using the same discs. So now, in order to remove the brake caliper, to remove the pads, we need to use a 12 millimeter socket and remove two bolts. Okay, one on the top we can see, and one on the bottom right there. This one right here. They're identical bolts. So remove all of them. You might need to use an extension or a wrench if it's more convenient and just take it off both bolts you need to get them loose all the way okay we have the bottom one out now the top one is next and once we do that we will be we'll be able to remove the brake caliper because this is the mount for the brake caliper now right here Okay, now on this side, right here you can see on the front side there is one bolt with a 12mm socket that holds the brake line. Okay, we need to remove this one now. Okay, like that, that's what the bolt looks like. And now the brake line will be able to come out like that. And we'll be able to pull the caliper this way. Because otherwise we won't have any slack on the caliper. Okay, and make sure that it's not just hanging on the hose, okay? Because it's going to, you might be able to damage the hose that it's, they're not very heavy, but uh, that line you need to make sure that you don't have any pressure on it. Okay, this uh, brake pad, the one on the back is the one with the long metal plate here. Okay guys, now that brake caliper you need to turn it clockwise, okay, like that to compress it because it's like a screw inside, it's like it has thread because uh, because of the emergency brake on the back so by turning it like that you can have very special tools you can use but you can do it with a screwdriver like that as you can see just like that you need to make sure that it's all the way in okay like that pretty simple you don't need to use any special tools you can do it by hand at the shop guys or even on the side of the road that's how simple it is Okay guys, now on the back right here there is one bolt with 14mm and another one there that we need to remove. Let me get a better view from right here so you can see better exactly where they are from the back. That's the one holding the brake uh, uh, mount, the mount for the brake caliper right there. So by removing those we will be able to remove the ca the bre this brake roller out because otherwise it will be holding the disc and you won't be able to pull it out. So you need to remove both bolts, both of them, that's what they look like. Okay, just go ahead and remove both now. Okay, and you can see the mount will come out. Alright guys, what do we need to do now? Uh, those get really stuck, so if you get a bit screwdriver like that, Phillips screwdriver, you hit it a couple of times, they will come loose. Otherwise, those things, they get stuck really bad. You can spray them a little bit, you can access them from the back on this side and spray them with, uh, with PB Blaster or WD-40, okay? And you can see even our bit will be stuck now, but it, it, will, it will come off because we, we hit it a couple of times. Otherwise, uh, you won't be able to remove those, they get stuck really, really bad. 
So okay, we got the bottom one loose now, we are going to remove it and now you should be able to pull the disc out. You can spray a little bit of uh, uh, WD-40 right here because uh, it might have some rust accumulation there. As you can see this one does and it's a 2008 model, haven't been in the soil too much. Okay guys, and if it's really stuck, we'll show you how to, to remove it as well. You can find a bolt like that, okay, you can see that fits right here, this hole and the one right there. And if you screw this one in, if you have two bolts, it's easier, you can do it with one too. And it's going to pull the disc out. Okay, you can see it will start pulling the disc out. It just stuck pretty good there. Okay, you can see how it popped out. And now we will do the same thing on the other side as well. Okay, the one right here. And it should come off because uh, they tend to get stuck really bad and you might not be able to get it done with the hammer without breaking anything. So use the bolts. We recommend using the bolts. Okay, almost there. You can hear this one. And just screw it and it comes off. And you can see that these guys the disc brake, okay, the roller is about to come out, almost there, just need to jump the lip now, because there is quite a bit of rust. And now we are going to take the bolt off as well, and screw a little bit maybe on the other side, or just hit it now and it will come off, okay, like that. And you can see it's out of there now. So you can see, uh, not very complicated procedure so far. Okay, now we get the new roller and we're just going to install it like that now. You need to make sure that this hole right here lines with the one on the back right there. So the, the screws that hold the roller to the hub will, uh, will be able to screw in. So there is only two positions that they go like that. Okay, and now we're going to get them in. Okay, just like that. And you need to get those tight as well to fix it in the position where it's supposed to be. Okay, like that. Now we're going to use a thread walk and we apply some on the two bolts that hold the bracket for the brake caliper on the back. Okay, and how is this stuck? We just punch the hole in it. Okay, just a little bit, uh, so that way they cannot get loose from vibrations, it's important. Brakes, guys, you always have to be careful when you do everything. Okay, and now you just need to go ahead and install that bracket on the back of the, of the hub right there. And there is only one position that the two bolts go to. Okay, like that. You can see it goes underneath. And uh, those are with a 14 millimeter socket and you need to get those tight pretty good. Okay, just get them tight. Okay, and now the bottom one as well. Just make sure that you don't break them, but you need to get them pretty tight. Okay, like that. Now we need to get the new brake pads and the one on the back goes like that. Okay, you need to make sure that it goes right there. Okay, you can see like that and now we're going to install the one on the outside one as well. It just goes in a certain spot like that. And now we can get the caliper and put it on top of them. You need to make sure that you press those in, okay, to go on top of the shimmers there or whatever they call those little plates. It needs to go actually on the bottom, the, the other one needs to be on top. Okay guys, and uh, you need to make sure that uh, you can see right here, this thing goes underneath that plate and you need to get the two bolts on the back, one here and one on the bottom tight, really tight. And after that you need to make sure that you, you install the bolt on the brake line right here, don't forget it because otherwise uh, you will damage the brake line and maybe lose the brakes. Okay. Okay, and you can see hitting the brakes a couple of times, it will move the caliper more. 
Okay, and it's holding. Until it's holding, and that's good, guys. Okay, thank you guys for watching. That's the whole procedure. It's the same procedure for the left side as well. Don't forget to subscribe and give us a like. We have a new video on our channel every day.